Hello, so we are back. First, thank you for subscribing to this channel. What we have here, we have a job which is coming from a local repair shop, actually a school, a local school. So what is happening with this one? It's charging fine. You can see the charging like that. It's taking like 2.1 amps here, yeah, which is fine. But pressing the power button, pressing the power button, and we can see the laptop it is coming on. You can see that we have the charging light and the power on light. But it's no picture on the screen. Hmm? Kind of strange. So what do you think is the problem? We don't know yet, but let's open the laptop quickly and let's have a look inside. What's wrong with my focus? Okay, so the laptop is still on, it's staying on, but no picture on the screen. Let's open the laptop quickly. Okay, so the back cover is removed. We don't have RAM memory. Wow. Do you think we have like onboard RAM? Because you remember the problem with the onboard RAM. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna disconnect the charger. Let's disconnect the battery. So the battery is disconnected. Look, this is a big chunk of thermal pad. Check here. I don't even have this size thermal pad. This is a nice one. So let's plug the charger. I mean, we reset the BIOS, right? We disconnect the battery. Let's see now if it's working. Yeah, the laptop, it is coming on. The fan is spinning. The CPU is warm, but it's no picture on the screen. Do you think it doesn't have RAM memory and that's the issue? Let me find a RAM memory. Nothing. Dead, dead. Okay, let's plug the RAM. Power on. And the fan is spinning, it is on. We can see the current goes a little bit up because we plug the we plug the memory. Let's check the memory voltage. So on the memory we have one point two volts. Coils, we have 0 0.7, we have 1 volt, we have 0 0.8, we have 3.3, we have 5 volts, and 12.6, 12 12 okay. And this coil has 1.2. Hmm. Three point three on the BIOS chip. I mean, everything looks good. Everything looks good. So what can be the problem? The problem can be the onboard RAM. Can be. Let's take the board out because probably the RAM is on the other side of the board. Or we should just disable the RAM memory. Hmm? What do you think? I will say, let's take the board out and have a look on the other side. We do have onboard RAM, so what do, what do you think about this RAM? I mean, it's not much what we can do. Every voltage is fine, so what you can do is reflow the onboard RAM or reload the BIOS. It's not much what we can do, but every voltage is fine, you know. 
Let's reflow the RAM memory quickly. Okay, let's use some flux. Not too much, you know, just uh, just a little bit. Mm. Hot air around 400 degrees. 420, what do you think? Huh? 420, yeah? Around 40% air. Let's see how it's going. I think we need more air. 50% air. We have to see the RAM memory moving. And it is moving. You seen it, yeah? Next one. Moving, yeah? Next one. Good. And the last one. Good. So we reflow the, the RAM memory. Now let's test the board. And it's not working. It's not working. And the question is why? Because we reflow the RAM. So it must be a firmware or a CPU. A BIOS issue or a CPU. Right? So this is an Intel i7 7 Gen. Okay, let's use the programmer and uh, write a new BIOS on this board. Good. We have the new BIOS here. And let's write the BIOS. Uh, okay, it has to be 3.3, .3. yeah. Perfect, let's wait and then see if it's working. All done. So let's test it. Let's see if it's working. Plug in the charger. Pressing the power button. And it is coming on. That means the BIOS is good. Let's wait. Is restarting, which is right. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to restart because we reset the BIOS, we took out the battery. So I believe this BIOS is good. I believe the laptop, it will work. Let's wait. It's working. You see? Exactly what I told you. And for some reason, deep inside of me, I believe, you know, when I see a laptop, okay, it is a hardware fault. But yeah, in this case, uh, it was a BIOS. So the laptop is working fine. Okay, I'm not gonna keep you here. I will just say, just have your mind open because this fault is not specific to this laptop. 
can happen in any laptop. Okay? So I will say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like always. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.